All right, let's continue with our lesson on the gas exchange system. And uh, we'll be talking about the effects of tobacco smoke on the gas exchange system. Okay, the tobacco smoke contains these four chemicals. All right, the carbon monoxide, the nicotine, the smoke part particles, and tar. All right. And these are the effects of each of these chemicals on your gas exchange system or on the gas exchange system. Okay? So carbon monoxide. This is what it does. It combines with the hemoglobin in the red blood cell. So it prevents them from transporting oxygen. And we know that when oxygen is not transported in the body, there is problem. Alright? So the nicotine. In nicotine increases heart rate and blood pressure. Okay, nicotine increases heart rate and blood pressure. We have the smoke particles, the irritate hair passages, okay, and causes inflammation. You know what inflammation is? Like uh, it makes it big, okay, and increased mucus production. So what does a tar do? What's the effect of tar in the gas exchange system? It increases the risk of lung cancer. This chemical increases the risk of lung cancer. Okay, it also increases mucus production like this, and it can paralyze and damage the cilia. It can paralyze and damage the cilia. So, these are the effects of this chemical that we have in tobacco smoke on the gas exchange system. So, now we want to go to the next thing, or the next step. This is differences in composition between inspired hair and expired air. What do, what does that mean? Inspired hair is what we breathe in. Expired, what we breathe out. Okay? Breathe in, breathe out. So first, we go to nitrogen. How many percentage of nitrogen do we have in inspired air? We have 79%. How many percent of nitrogen do we have in expired air? 79%. Okay, so they're the same. Why? Because nitrogen is not, is not used or produced by body processes. We don't need nitrogen for our body processes, basically. Okay, so that's why it's the same. You breathe it in, then it, it, it goes out the same. Okay, we go to the next one, oxygen. Breathe in. We breathe in 21% of oxygen. Okay, then... We take how many percent of oxygen? 16% of oxygen we breathe out. Okay? Why? It's used up in processes of respiration. We need oxygen for respiration. Okay, so the next one, carbon dioxide, we breathe in 0.04% of carbon dioxide. Then we breathe out how many percent? 4% of carbon dioxide. Okay? Why? Because carbon dioxide is produced as a waste in the process of respiration. Okay, it's produced, so it has to be back out. Okay, then water vapor, it, it varies, okay, that's why it's called variable. It varies depending on the environment, where you are, and all that. So we're breathing water vapor, variable amount, okay, and when we want to breathe out, we breathe out saturated water vapor, okay, because it's also produced in the process of respiration, moisture evaporates from the surface of the aphelion. Okay, so this is, so who can tell me how many percentage of nitrogen is in, is in uh, the hair that we're breathing? 79. Percentage of oxygen in the hair that we're breathing? 21. Percentage of CO2? 0.4. And in the exhale, expired or exhaled or expired hair or exhaled hair, we have 79%, 16%, 4%. All right. All right. That will be the end of today's class. The next lesson, we'll go to Unit 5, Arabic and anaerobic respiration. But for this lesson, at your convenience, make sure you do homework in your booklet, booklet worksheet 4.1, and 4.2. Please send the answers to me on WhatsApp so I'll be sure that you understand this topic. And uh, please stay safe and thank you. Bye bye.